I think the local real estate agency should probably move to another town if we have a triple homicide and then spectral critters move in. Probably don't work here. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with a little bit more of Hell Sign. I just wanted to poke my head around this game a little bit more and see what it had to offer. All we really did last time was find some stuff. We didn't get to shoot anything. I mean, this is basically Ghostbusters with guns, 1980s synth soundtrack included, but we didn't actually get to shoot anything. And, and I've got a gun. I mean, I have a gun right here. It's a rusty snub nose. It's probably a terrible gun. But I've got a gun and 10 bucks, and I figure that's a good start to a game. So apparently my next task is to head back to the bar and find some work. A brief reminder for anyone who didn't watch the first episode of Hellsign. If you are reading along the dialogue that some of the NPCs offers, there is some extremely strong language in it. So just be aware if you're sensitive to very, very strong curse words, um, that's going to come up. So probably don't read. I will, I'll work around it verbally, but probably don't read along if you're easily offended by that. All right, let's go back to a bar and see if anyone wants to have us shoot some ghosts. So back in the Shaggy Jackal, which is where we pick up all of our little jobs, I think probably the person we're going to want to talk to is this fixer guy over here. He seems to be the one who sets up all the jobs over here. So yeah, fixer. Got any signs you want to get rid of? No, I don't. No. You also act as a vendor, but I, I don't actually have anything except a gun and ten bucks. So, no, I guess you're not the person I want to talk to. How about you? You're the guy who gave me my first job. Yeah, Rookie Hunter, what's up? I'm looking for some work. Oh, really? I can think of some work right up your alley, and he gives me a wink. Okay, it's that kind of bar. All right. Um, yeah, w what do you have in mind? There are a bunch of jobs going around town, and I can hook you up for sure. Well, excellent. I need you to head to a small shop downtown, just off Parksville Road, a little place called Guns and Baits. You should see a puzzle box. Get that for me, and I'll hook you up. Okay, sure. I don't actually have anything else pressing right at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go do that. I, I suppose we have to leave now. And is that going to open up a new location on the map? It sure is. Guns and baits. Let's slide right in here. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a puzzle box. You're not another one of Banjo's errand boys, are you? Actually, I am. I 100% am. Uh, that is basically what I do. So, yeah. Um, who is Banjo? Poker face level 9,000. All right. First of all, Poker face level 9,000 is a great band name. Secondly... I don't probably have Poker Face level 9,000. I maybe should have actually invested into the gambling perk. I didn't think that was going to come up as often, but okay. Sorry, thought he might have sent you. Apparently, I, I think that was a guaranteed pass on that. Sorry about that. The name's Noah. Are you a hunter? Not really. I'm more of an errand boy. Uh, I'm a scout. There we go. Could use a few more specialist investigators in town. Fresh sip shipment of the latest gear just arrived last night. Well, fantastic. And you are now a shop. Oh, you got like clothing. What have you got over here? A hoodie, a rugged coat. And do all of these offer extra armor? Yeah, wow, well, they sure do. They sure do. So this rugged coat is going to give me plus 50 armor, plus 12 stability. Not really sure what that means. Maybe if I'm getting hit by something, that will help me not get knocked back or something. Dodge window, dodge speed. Okay, cool. How about the leather jacket? Not that I can afford any of this. I got 10 bucks. A favorite among biking hunters. Oh, plus 80 armor. That's really good. How about the security vest then? Plus 140 armor. But I'm not going to dodge as quickly or dodge, my dodge window will go down. I'm assuming the minus is a penalty of some sort. That's generally what minus means. Oh, you got all sorts of things. Hang on, headgear, Kevlar helmet, riot helmet, boots. I can't afford a darn thing, but here we are. Accessories, a bottle of whiskey. It doesn't actually even say that there's whiskey in it. It's just a whiskey bottle. Uh, but I'll gain, apparently, plus three experience and plus three chance to find treasure while I'm drunk. Well, good. Good. That's better than you usually get from whiskey. Okay, um, let's, let's get out of this and 
Let's see. Uh, well, how about just your general shop? Where do I find a nail gun? Wait, I can have a nail gun for nothing? You're just going to give me a nail gun. It's zero dollars. Is it any better than what I've got? Damage 0.76. I think my damage is better. What about, uh, can I see that? Yeah, my damage is 3.36. So probably don't go with the, with the nail gun, even though it's free. That's really good. That's really good. And wow, there's all sorts of weapons here. Holy moly. Um, a Gustav 86. What does that do for a living? Uh, well, quite a bit of damage compared to my pistol for one. Anything? Uh, we got laser weapons in here. What the? A desert dragoon. 62 damage. That's that's like 200 times what mine is. Okay, well, that's super expensive, I'm sure. Let's uh, attachments. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, I just came here for the puzzle box, but now I'm kind of going through your inventory. Suppressor, laser sight. Yeah, pretty much the standard things you would expect to see on... Oh, wait a minute. Ammo. Do I have to buy ammo? I was not aware that I had to buy ammo. I kind of was under the impression I had unlimited ammo, but apparently not. So I have 250 full metal jacket, 0 0.22, 0 0.22, whatever. I could buy some more, but 250 seems... Seems perfectly fine right at this exact second. Um, now, where's your thing? Where's the puzzle box? It's not in gadgets. Aha, it's in utility tools. Okay, and I can just sort of have this for nothing. So, sure. Yay, done that. Okay, I just basically stole from this guy. Let's get out of here before he figures that out. Let's go back to the bar. Okay, Banjo, I got your thing. I, you have no idea how rare these are. Yeah, and he was just giving them away. You could have just gone down there. Oh, I got 5 XP. Woot. Um, you could have just gone down there and gotten that yourself. He was literally giving them away. Also, free nail guns at his shop. Totally free nail guns. So we're even... At least tell me where I can get some work around here, please. I guess I owe you that much. Your pal Redback is always looking for new recruits, so we are going back to the Fixer after all, after that little weird side quest, which was basically just a tutorial to the shop. That's fair. Hey, by the way, you good with a gun? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, what do you think? You really are? Okay. And I got this job downtown, not too far from the Tin Alley Road. Nothing too serious. Just a few small critters. 350 bucks, though. Well, yeah, I'm very interested in 350 bucks. Not so much with the 15 XP. That's not very much XP, but I'm very interested in 350 bucks. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll I'll go I'll do that. Yeah, hook me up. Once you're down there, clear out the house. Make sure you do a good job. Okay, can do. When it's done, head back over here. Fair enough. All right, out of here. And back on the world map, some other locations have opened up. So scouting house. Can I, can I just go do this now? These little side missions? Because this is really low risk. I mean, here's the plot job, and the game is, is conveniently saying, this is the plot job, go here next. But I notice all of these other locations just opened up. Low risk, good amount of signs. Uh, EMF thing, I've got that. I've got the black light. Got all sorts of stuff. Um, Can I just take that now we should probably go to the plot house let's let's go to the plot job that's that's obviously the next thing we have to do kill critter five bucks yay but the risk is really high on this super high okay a triple homicide caused this house to attract a large amount of unwanted scavenging critters a local real estate agency has hired you to sweep the place up and eliminate any threats. I think the local real estate agency should probably move to another town if we have a triple homicide and then spectral critters move in. Probably don't work here. Well, here we are at our little mobile base here, our little van, and what are we supposed to do? Equip our sidearm. Can do. All right, got that done. Fire your weapon at, at anything in particular. How about this dead body on the ground? That, that seems terrible. Enter our precision aiming mode. Perform a dodge. There we go. Okay. We've accomplished all our little tutorial things there. Chances are I probably won't remember any of those things, but basically so long as I can master shooting, that'll probably be pretty good. Kick the door open in a very dramatic fashion. I'm going to go down to the 
targeted aiming thing here and clear the house of all threats. So we're probably just going door to door here. Anything in here I need to know about? Anything at all? No? Anything to loot in here? At all? How about if I, um, you know, just for fun, what's the, uh, what's my little EMF thing? Or oh, that's my black light. Okay, that's good too. That's good too. What's my, uh, are we looking for things? It's really just saying clear the house of threats. Oh, our, my EMF is three. Okay. So just for fun, do I get any kind of static around here on my EMF? Is there any investigating we need to be doing? Probably not is going to be my guess because this is clearly a tutorial for shooting things, which is fine. I'm, I'm all okay with that. I also can't find to how to get out of the door. There we go. I, I figured out doors. I'm going to stay in the sort of um, targeted mode because I feel if there's critters... Oh, oh, a little, little staticky thing there. Something weird just happened. Hi. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, critter, critter. Okay, okay. Back up, back up. Let him come to me. There he is. Come on. Come on. Okay. It's a giant spider. Fine. It's a giant spider. And considering that this game takes place in Australia, that's probably not a giant spider. That's probably just a regular spider. Okay, one critter dead. Now what? Probably... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shoot. I meant to open the door. Oh, I should reload. Uh, hang on, hang on. Is that R? No. Yes, okay. R for reload. Good. Thankfully, there's a convenient key for that. Okay. Any more regular size Australian spiders? Okay, that just loops around back to the first room. Fine. And that's a wall. That's also fine. Probably don't need to shoot that. Oh, oh, uh, okay. There's There's another thing. Okay, good. All right. Got that one just fine. No problem. No problem. Uh, anything I should be doing with this? Should I, I probably don't need to loot the spider, right? Probably not. And where does this go? That also loops back to the first room. Okay. Just as so long as I'm covering all the areas here, as this being somewhat of a sweep and clear mission, I'm sure we don't get to go home until all the things are dead. Kick open this door. Uh, don't shoot the door. Kick open the door. Oh, we're outside. Okay. Is there anything outside I actually need to do? Probably not. Would be my guess. I mean, it did say in the house. Clear the house. Although, that I suppose that could be outside. Who knows? Let's reload again. Let's make sure we're well stocked on ammo here. Make sure we got all the ammo. Kick open the door. Find a spider. Shoot a spider. Yeah, there's... I think it's more than a triple homicide in this room. I'm counting a lot of bodies around here. A lot of bodies that are all dead. I, I think the local real estate company may have more on its hands than it expects. Kick the door open. Anything to shoot? No? Okay. Fair enough. Kick the next door open. Oh, little, little staticky thing there. Something weird is going to happen. I do like those little effects. Give me a little, little, not a jump scare, more, more of a sense of anticipation. Or kick you. Hello, spiders. I am ready to shoot you. Not super ready, because you're gigantic. Oh, there's one. Uh, there's two. One, two. I can't tell. Uh, okay, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Yeah, there's another body. Yeah, this is way more than a triple homicide. This is like a, a, I don't know, an octo-homicide or something going on here. Reload. Always be reloading. Never too late to reload. Oh! Um. Okay, I want to leave. I, I, no. I, no. Ah, d d oh. Uh, shoot, shoot everything. Uh, press V to use my stim. Okay, good. Yeah, did that. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. The, uh, where the heck are we? This house is messed up. This, oh. Okay, so my sweeping contract didn't go so well. What with falling into hell and all. Okay, I actually lost XP from that. Well, fine. I got five bucks. I, I got five bucks out of that. But they took off two-thirds of it because I died. Am I? Did I come back to life? Is that how this is working out here? Yeah, I'm... 
back at my safe house. If I... If I leave, can I... Can I go back to the bar and report in? This, this didn't go as well as I planned. I fell into the gates of hell, apparently. Never thought I'd see you again, much less on two legs. Yeah, me neither. I was just shooting some spiders, and then all of a sudden there was a transdimensional warp in the house. I'd really... Um, Banjo, I think... Can you put me in contact with the real estate developers who own that house or who are marketing that house? Because we have a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. There's a trans-dimensional warp to hell in the house. Now, if they can feature that properly, that will add to the value. But right now, it ain't helping. What are you talking about? I found you in the shadow dimension with shadow beasts all over you any longer, and there wouldn't have been anything left to find. Yeah, no kidding. What, what, what is the shadow dimension? It's no regular place. Yeah, no kidding, Banjo. No kidding. Now file that under obvious. It's an altered dimension you can only get to with a hell sign because that's the tattoo on my back. Why didn't you tell me you had a hell sign? Uh, because I just started playing the game, Banjo. It's the big tattoo on my back, the massive occult tattoo on your back that turns you into a magnet for the supernatural. Yay! I'm a ghost magnet. I have no idea what that is. Are you serious? Sorry, I'm out of time here. Already late for a hot date. Okay, I'd seriously avoid telling people that you've got that mark. Totally can do. So, what? yeah, what were you doing in the Shadow Dimension? Uh, my puzzle box went missing. I just got that for you. I just got that for you. Minutes ago. Since you're the one who bought it, I went looking for you. Why? That doesn't make any sense. You should go back to the shop. They're, he's giving them away, man. Anyway, next time, my next minute, I found you lying there, and the rest is history. It's not history. It's actually the present. I, it's, it's, it's the present right now, Banjo. I'm getting out of here and heading down to Melbourne. Catch you on the flip side. Okay. Now what? Can I go turn in the quest? You sure took your time. It's been three days. Really? Oh, okay. Sorry, Banjo. It actually was history. My mistake. Just running some errands. I was busy getting shafted by shadow beasts. There was nothing special about that job. I must have messed up somewhere along the way. I assume you cleared out the house because the hot client hasn't complained yet. Um, no. No, not even close. First of all, I'm pretty sure there were probably more spiders in there because I wasn't finished going through the house. Also, trans-dimensional gate to hell. So, I don't, I don't think the house is clear. He's taking a 90% cut. On top of my two-thirds cut for dying, I made $35. Woot. There's always a few jobs going around town, and I could use some extra scouts, so I'll hook you up. You know how these scouting jobs work. No, not really. I just go to these sites and do a full investigation. With that gear, not a chance. Get as many signs as you can and get out. Don't try to be a hero. All right. And then basically do some jobs, sell the stuff, upgrade gear so you can do better jobs. Got it. Okay. Word on the street is you have a hell sign. Yeah, apparently I do. Uh, do you know anything about it? I don't deal with that stuff. I'm more into the rare occult artifacts. There's a chick who is always hanging around the bar. Her name's Zoe. She's not the full biscuit. Okay. Um, who Are you Zoe? Yes, you're Zoe. You're a cryptozoologist. Oh, neat. Hello, Zoe Roper. Are you a scout? Uh, you must be Zoe. Have we met? Uh, I'm trying to find some answers. Just passing through... Just here for the beer and pies. That that does sound that does sound good, I'll admit. Woke up with a hell sign, no idea how it got here. So you're a hunter, I'm pretty swamped. Help me finish this research and I'll answer any questions you have. And you'll give me 70 bucks and 20 XP. Sure. Um I did do we have to flirt with her? Is that my only option? Because it's creepy. I just met this woman, and I'm sure she's a perfectly nice cryptozoologist. Uh, sure, what do you need? I've noticed a pattern with the paranormal disturbances around town ever since that shadow appeared back in 76. Okay. Gather a couple of signs, fill in the missing data. Fantastic. And we have a new quest. Find one clue and one evidence. Now, which house is that? Which, which house is that? Any house? Any house at all? Okay. Well, is there any sort of low-risk ones here? That's pretty low-risk. That's pretty low risk. This sweeping one, is that the one I was just at? Oh, yeah, that's that's higher risk. 
That's the one I was just at. Apparently, we never really actually finished that. I kind of thought we didn't. That's high risk. That's high risk. Let's go low risk, more signs. That seems admirable. And here we are at yet another dilapidated, ghost-infested house. The real estate market in this town must be tanking. But you tell me, do you want us to kick open the door and see what's going on in here, or do we want to leave it on Hell Sign? Do you want to see more of Hell Sign? Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see less of Hell Sign? Let me know in the comments. Do you never want to see Hell Sign again? Let me know in the comments. But until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time um johnny you can shoot a thing three times with your pistol now and i'd like to talk to you about that i would like to have a discussion with you johnny about shooting something three times with your pistol specifically that thing